So, I've been watching a new show, Shogun, which I found to be absolutely fantastic and I wanted to talk about it a bit. I'm only three episodes in to this 10 episode show at the time of this video and it's very rare for me to talk about a season of television before I've finished it. But when you do that, you often miss the boat when people are really discussing a show. And in any case, the series seems to be in confident, competent hands. And unless it nosedives in quality, I can really see this being one of the standout shows of the year. And it's only March. Granted, I am not the person to talk to when it comes to TV shows. Movies, yeah, but when it comes to TV shows, sure I've seen a lot of the big ones, but I consider myself something of a novice. Still though, this show here is really good. I saw part of a trailer for it a while back and thought, ooh, that looks good. Some big budget being shown off there. I hoped it was going to be good, because in theory it had so much I like. I'm a huge fan of samurai films. Harakiri, Samurai Rebellion, 13 Assassins, Akira Kurosawa's entire filmography, you name it. I also really enjoy historical fiction and what comes with it. Politics between rival clans and families, battle sequences, and just the world building in general. It's great being transported to a different time and place into an environment that feels real and lived in. One where you have to learn and adapt to different ways of speaking and different cultures. Resurrection Ertugal, Rise of Empires Ottoman and Game of Thrones comes to mind. But in general, I've often taken a look at historical shows and bailed immediately. Simply because I never really feel like I've been transported to a different time. And the reason? Well, it's often the usual suspects. Poor CGI backgrounds, dialogue that sounds too modern, and actors who don't look like they belong in the time period. And I'm by no means educated on 17th century Japan, but in terms of the environment, Shogun is immense. Practical costumes and sets blend seamlessly with special effects heavy environments to create a world where your immersion is really broken. I mean it's top tier production design and VFX work, HBO level. And it's really quite surprising to learn that this series is an American production, not a Japanese one. Then there's the lack of pandering, which of course adds to the authenticity. I'm not talking about tokenism and political correctness, well, that too. But in the main, I mean that I'd say maybe 60% of the show's dialogue has been in Japanese, even with an English-speaking major character. They do speak English when in the show they're supposed to be speaking Portuguese though which makes it a bit confusing to know when the English guy is actually speaking English or whether he's speaking Portuguese. Some mature shows also have a tendency to show off some major violence and nudity to basically say, look how hardcore and adult oriented we are. Again, I didn't really see that here. The violence is appropriate and action scenes are varied. One even being a boat race where someone is trying to ram a rival onto some rocks and said action scenes arrive at moments that feel appropriate in terms of the story. There was one scene though where a woman whipped off her shirt and started to get funky for seemingly no reason other than because, well, the show can. Is it a lazy review if I just say that this show pretty much has everything I wanted? It throws you into a quickly developing story that contains politics and espionage, human connections and rivalry, subtle romance, clashing ethics and cultures without resorting to belittling one at the expense of the other, and genuine humour, the last of which often tends to be missed in shows which try too hard to be dark and gritty. It just feels so fresh, and a kind of show I wish they made more of. I'm not familiar with the source material, nor the show that was adapted from it, but the story essentially involves a British, uh, well, sailor, merchant, soldier, spy, we don't really know yet. He's got a few secrets up his sleeve. But he lands on feudal Japan and becomes a pawn in a complex political game between rival ambitious leaders. Cosmo Jarvis is John Blackthorne, who initially strikingly comes off as Tom Hardy. And he really is a great character. Shrewd and resourceful, Blackthorne is a prisoner for most of the show so far, a captive of Yoshi Taranaga. He's also pretty damn hilarious, his lack of respect for Japanese culture worn so brazenly on his sleeve. That being said, Blackthorn seems to be developing an awe and respect for his environment, which started when he saw a man willing to commit seppuku to die on his own terms rather than being washed away by the waves. Of course, Blackthorn saw his own commander take his own life in one of the first scenes of the series in a much different way, a defeatist way, 
and I wonder if that has played a part in his new outlook. I'm guessing he will go on to be the lead or co-lead, but honestly, with where the show is now, he actually feels like a really big bonus, a wild card in this game of politics, and the story is already good before he becomes a part of it. It's vast and intricate. The ever-durable Hiroyuki Sanada plays Toranaga, one of the regents of the land, as the previous leader has died and his son is not yet of age. Toranaga seems like a man of integrity, but the rest of the regents are out for power and seek to oust him, kill him even. With his options limited and fast running out, the arrival of the British man, with the information and value he has, may tip the balance of power. Complaints I do have are small, things like main character plot armour and whatnot, which doesn't detract from the overall experience, which so far has been fantastic. Have you seen Shogun? What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments section below, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.